हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी टोशनल रिजिडिटी एंड एंगल ऑफ ट्विस्ट व्हाट यू मीन बाय रिजिडिटी रिजिडिटी समथिंग इज रिजिड मींस इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू मोल्ड समथिंग वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू ट्विस्ट समथिंग दैट इज द टोशनल रिजिडिटी राइट सो what is the formula for uh, torsional equation what is torsional equation remind that again this should be in your uh, fingertips because because this is very important formula t by j tau by r g theta upon l this should be remembered always right in this equation if i take only this equation t by j equal to g theta upon l from here what is theta what is theta here tl upon gg this is the angle of twist this is the angle of twist compare it this is this is our circular shaft at which a torque is applied a torque is applied like this which has length l and there is a angle of twist theta right compare it with a bar i have said earlier that whenever you will be able to compare with the bar it will be very easy to analyze this uh, this type of equations so compare it with a bar at which a force is applied p force is applied and there is some deformation in this bar delta l and the length is l what is the change in length deformation that change in length is given by pl upon ae right so this equation is quite similar to this equation you should remember this always directly this equation should be remember this is the angle of twist in case of torque applied torsion T L upon G J, T is analogous to P, L is analogous to L, L is L, G is analogous to E, and J is analogous to A. Right? So you should remember that theta is analogous to delta L, T is analogous to the load applied, L is L, L is equal to L, L is both in same in both case, G the modulus of rigidity is analogous to modulus of elasticity and j j polar model, moment of inertia is analogous to the area right so this is quite similar terms quite similar similarity is there not same things but some similarity is there deformation in a simple bar uh, when the direct load is applied and when torque is applied so theta is tl upon gj and delta l is pl upon a now in this case in this case for a given torque and for a given length theta is proportional to 1 by gj this term gj gj if this gj is higher modulus of rigidity multiplied by polar moment of inertia if this gj term is higher angle of twist is low, lower you are not able to twist the torque to a sufficient amount if this quantity is higher right so you can see here if gj is higher theta will be lower because it is inversely proportional to each other right so this gj basically is not allowing the torque to twist the shaft to a, a large quantity right so this uh, belongs to a strong member if gj is higher it means it is a rigid rigid shaft right we are approaching towards the higher rigidity right so that is called torsional rigidity so this is torsional rigidity we are uh, writing here this is this term gj so this term gj is called here this is given a name here this is called torsional rigidity and if torsional rigidity is higher angle of twist will be lower so you should remember this equation as well as 
this that gj is higher theta is lower and gj is called torsional rigidity